Welcome back everybody, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is Half-Life 2 Chapter 8, Sand Traps. So, as we recall in the last video, we entered into this dark and creepy tunnel. So, let's investigate. And it looks like we have entered into a car pileup in the underpass. So the first thing to do down here is to grab the explosive barrel and then hug the left wall and then fire it at the fast zombies. And then run back the way we came and then use the tires to kill the rest of the zombies. <laughs> I just feel so powerful with the gravity gun. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, the left side up here, there's no items to grab. It's the right side where we want to go. Unfortunately, the blue door is locked. So we'll have to go to the right side over here and grab the supplies if we need them. <laughs> well, hey, Miss Headcrab, thank you for dying upside down for me. Much appreciated. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we'll come inside this room and grab the supplies. The two most important supplies are the SMG grenade and the armor battery, so don't miss those items if the grenade disperse them. And that's it, we are done with the underpass area, so let's clear a path so that we can use the scout car to get out of this tunnel. So let's get out of here right now. The outside area is just so beautiful, isn't it? And we come to our first roadblock in sand traps. The crates, dropped here by the dump truck. So we're going to run over to this large rock over here because we can look down here and we see a couple of supply crates down there near the rowboat. Now I will be back to grab those supply crates later on and you'll see when I do that. But for right now let's go back to the scout car and continue along the highway. And we see a white building, so let's investigate that. So outside, there are just two Combine soldiers, so make sure that both of them die. And then grab their supplies that they drop, like this health vial. And then over here is something interesting. We see evidence that the Combine soldiers are burning the resistance citizens in order to 
cover up the fact that they are resistance citizens. Okay, so outside there is just one supply crate. So we'll grab the contents of that if we need it. Yes, get down there, you stupid APC, where you belong. Okay, and now we will investigate this three-story building. The front door is locked, so we'll have to go to the left side over here, where we see the Combine APC has blown a hole in the wall so we can get in easily. Now, the first floor just has supplies in the kitchen. So make sure to grab those if you need them. Oh, and by the way, no matter what you do here... The front door is still locked. We can't go through there. So we'll go up the stairs to the second floor. Now, the second floor does not have any items whatsoever. It's the third floor where we want to go. Okay, so there is a reason why I'm stacking up this furniture in the corner. I want to create some wiggle room for myself. Because when you approach this hole in the ceiling, this happens. So just toss both roller mines out the window. Oh, and also, there is one more roller mine when you approach the stairs. Okay, so now we can grab the items, which includes a crossbow, and also two armor batteries that we can grab. Well, that's kind of weird. The citizen and the health packs are disappearing on me. Um, okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> we'll just head back down to the second level, but we must be cautious. Because there's another roller mine. Okay, and we will now go down to the first level. But once again, we must be cautious. Because there's one more roller mine. So on the right side, we see this red beached boat. We are going to investigate that with the scout car. So let's go do that. By the way, these gravestones right here, I don't know what they symbolize or represent, but they're there. <laughs> so let's get in the scout car and let's investigate that beached boat now. around the beached boat to the other side where we have a couple of supply crates so just grab what you need from there and so now we're going to follow the beach along the coastline until we get back to those two supply crates we skip near the rowboat So now, we're going to go back up to the highway once again. And then we're just...
just going to continue on down the hole, um, the highway, as usual. And we come across a security checkpoint. The first thing that you want to do is use the crossbow on the soldier. The second thing that you want to do is slowly, and I do mean slowly, creep down with the scout car towards the checkpoint. Because there's going to be two roller mines that will come for you. Okay, and with both of them taken care of, we're going to creep once more towards the checkpoint until these stops raise up. Now we're going to go around the stops, but be aware of two Combine soldiers on the outside area. Hey, there's the first soldier. The second soldier is either on the left side or the right side. In this case, it was the right side. We're going to use the secondary fire of the Tau Cannon to shoot into the White House. There's a reason why we're doing this. <laughs> that was awesome. And also the red garage as well. Okay, and are you guys ready to see the handiwork that we did with the secondary fire of this White House? So there's the soldier we shot with the secondary fire, right to his face. But inside here, we see this soldier that has died from the secondary fire from the holes in the wall. The secondary fire of the Tau Cannon is absolutely extraordinary. We'll grab this armor battery, and I believe that that is it for the White House. Yeah, it is. And also, you can use the health machine over here if you need it. And so now we will investigate the Red Garage to see our handiwork, where we see this dead soldier who has died from the holes from the secondary fire of the Tau Cannon. And there's also one more armor battery inside here. And that's it! The security checkpoint now belongs to Gordon Freeman because of the secondary fire of the Tau Cannon. So, let's continue on. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue on down the highway. Make sure that you hug the left side so as not to fall into the ocean down below. Now this area. When you see a windmill like this one, it means this is a resistance outpost. Unfortunately, this outpost has already been raided by the Combine. So, let's run to the other side of this resistance outpost, where we see a Combine dropship. Now, what I do is I get close to this dropship with the RPG and shoot the troops as they come out single file. Okay. Um... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That was a bit weird. Um. Oh gosh. Okay, so that did not go as planned. Um, but that was rather funny. The RPG went right in between the shotgunner's legs. So, you know what? I will take that hilarity over losing a bit of health and armor. So that's okay. Um, so to recap, yeah, use a weapon of your choice. You can use the RPG, or you can use whatever other weapon you want, just as long as the troops die as they exit out of the dropship. Single file. It's very easy that way. Okay, so there's one thing to worry about here, and that is these two roller mines. So, make sure that both of them die in the water. So, what is the objective of this resistance outpost? What are we supposed to be doing here? Well, our eventual goal is to raise up this gate so that we can pass our scout car beyond that. And to do that, we need electricity. So let's follow the cable over here. We'll keep following it until we come to this red building. We're going to go inside eventually, but for right now, let's investigate the outside area. We notice this right here. It's the only spot where this bottle of fruit juice appears. I'm not sure why it's only here, but that's the way it is. There are two armor batteries. One on this barrel, and one on this barrel. So grab them both. And so now we'll enter inside the red building, and we'll trace the wire, and we come to these battery holders. One is already inside a holder, but we need two more batteries to fit in these holders. There are actually five batteries to find, and I'm going to show all five of them to you. The first of which is, of course, right here in the first holder. The second battery is right here on the bed frame. The third battery is outside the red building, underneath a bathtub. Yeah, go figure. A very illogical place for a battery. The fourth battery, however, does logically make sense, however, and it's inside of where the engine should be in the car. And then the fifth battery is the most illogical ever. It's actually near the windmill up there. And to get it, you must suck it up with the gravity gun. And that's it. That's all five batteries. So pick the ones that you want and plug them inside. And that will open up the gate and allow us to use the scout car to proceed further. However, there is one thing to do inside the red building, and that is to find this Lambda location up there. We're going to use the gravity gun to suck down the supplies. There's an armor battery. There's a health pack. And there's some magnum shells. Those come in handy. Now, once you can't suck up any more items with the gravity gun, we're going to use a grenade to get the rest of those items. And I guess that's just one more armor battery that fell down. Okay, so that's it for this Lambda location. So let's proceed further. Oh, I guess... Okay, so one SMG grenade as well, so don't miss that. I almost did. Thankfully, it did fall right in front of me. So don't miss that with the Lambda location.
Now, I'm not sure how to proceed beyond this tanker, but what I do is I drive to the right side of it. Then we'll continue on to the next section. So gorgeous. I think Sandtraps has the best locales. And speaking of locales, look at what we see here. This is Lighthouse Point. So if you recall at the end of Ravenholm, we saw that map that showed us that Lighthouse Point was the very last resistance outpost before Nova Prospect, the prison. And if you recall, we're supposed to break into the prison of Nova Prospect to rescue Eli Vance. So let's do that right now. We're picking up radio chatter. They're looking for your car. Get your car in the garage. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Oh, crap. Here come the dropships! Okay, so there are going to be four Combine dropships that will come for you, one after the other. So like before, with the first dropship, we're going to use our weapons up close to the dropship to kill the enemy single file. The first dropship is to the right of the Red Garage. The second dropship is going to come to the left of the red garage, but we're going to go along the back side of the garage over this way. to the right of the red garage, to the right of the white house. final dropship is going to come at the lighthouse itself. Now what I do is I run to the left side of the lighthouse so as not to get struck by the dropship's guns. Comes the bad boy, everybody. A combine gunship. It's a gunship. Find the rockets to launch up in the lighthouse, Raymond. Okay, so let's head inside the lighthouse and go up the stairs. Now, as I explained before, it's going to take 
Seven rockets to bring down the gunship on hard mode. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's five on normal and three on easy. You also want to corkscrew the rockets. Now, I won't be saying much because I do want to concentrate here. But basically, use the stairs right here and the lighthouse itself as a hold point. Two. There's three of them. There's four. Five. There's six. We are almost done. Come on, Gordon Freeman. You can do it. gunship is destroyed. So like I said, seven rockets on hard mode. And we can refill our stuff right here if we need to. And we'll go back down the stairs now. This way, Dr. Freeman. We'll take the cliff path before another gunship finds us. Okay, sounds like a good idea, but I'm going to stock up on my items here. What in the world just happened? I didn't grab the table. Okay, well, I'm full on SMG rounds anyway. But that was kind of weird. I grabbed the table instead of the SMG rounds, but you know what? Whatever. So I'm not going to follow this guy all the way down. What I want to do is actually grab the items in the houses that I did not venture into at all. So, on the outside area of this resistance outpost of Lighthouse Point, there's just one item of interest. And if I can find it, it is an infinite ammo crate full of SMG rounds right here. We're going to go inside the house nearest the SMG rounds. We'll head inside here for more stuff and an infinite ammo crate full of grenades. And just look at this. Doesn't this look just so cute? We got some furniture here and a stove over here so the citizens can warm themselves and relax. So cute. And if we head up this ladder right here, we can see that 
perhaps there's some sex at times that go on up here. I'm not sure. I'm not going to ask. That's their business. Let's move on. We're going to go inside of this white house over here. There's just one supply crate. And that's it. That's all that's inside. Now, the red garage has nothing inside, so let's not even bother let's with go. that. So we'll follow the citizen downstairs of the lighthouse. Right along there, and watch your step. A secret passage. But let's grab some supplies. Okay, and let's head them out. Let's do it. But we must be very, very careful. One wrong move, and we plummet to our death. So let's fall down here, while also trying to look up as well. For that Combine soldier right there. And also, look at what is happening! No! They're taking our scout car away from us with a Combine dropship, and there's nothing we can do about it. So long, Scout Car, you served us well. Okay. So, you hear that shooting going on. I've actually no-clipped up there before, and there's actually no one shooting whatsoever. It's just sound effects playing. I wonder... Yes, I can. I grabbed some ammunition from the Combine Soldiers pulse rifle. Let's jump and not fall down. This is quite... Oh my gosh, this is quite nerve-wracking. Because I am afraid of heights in real life, so let's just head inside this dark tunnel and be done with it. And let's go to the next section of sand traps. And now we enter quite possibly the most annoying section of the entire game, where to unlock an achievement, we have to cross the Antlion Beach without touching the sand at all. Oh boy. Hold still, Leslie. Someone's coming. coming. You there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! Don't step on the sand! It makes the Antlions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! No. Help! Dear God, poor Laszlo, the finest mind of his generation, to come to such an end. We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. Go ahead, and I hope you have better luck than we had. Remember to stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Poor Laszlo. Poor, poor Laszlo. So anyways, like I was saying, our goal is not to touch the sand whatsoever until we reach the Vortigaunt camp way further on along the beach. This achievement is called Keep Off the Sand, and I will let you guys know when that achievement will happen, so you guys can know when to touch the sand is okay again. I will grab these supplies, though, because I do need them.
And let's go. Let's begin our trek across the sand without touching it. So yeah, like I said, do not touch the sand for whatever reason. Because that will negate the achievement. And I want the achievement. So on the left side, we see some supplies over there. I will return for these supplies after I get the achievement. I don't want to accidentally touch the sand while I grab the items, so we'll do that later. We'll jump to the pallet, and then we'll jump to the rock. We'll use the pallet again to cross to this rock. And this is what is called building your way to something. At least that's what I call it. Just like that. Now, when you reach this pointed rock right here, what you want to do is sprint jump to this rock. Without falling down, of course. Now, to cross here, we need the pallet one more time. So let's grab it. This is just to be on the safe side. And we enter this area with the two windmills over there. So, once again, on the left side, there are going to be supplies over there, but I will return after I get the achievement. So, we will go over to the right side for right now. And we're going to jump to this rock. And we enter this area with the seesaw on the right side. What we're going to do is jump to the left side. And our goal is to walk up this plank of wood without falling down. And our next goal is to jump to the seesaw again without falling down. and then head towards somewhat to the middle near this wheel and then we're going to suck up the crate over here and then place it on the other side up here we may have to jump a little bit just like that and then do the same for this crate right here to act as a weight for this side. We'll head towards the middle again. And what we're going to want to do now is sprint jump up to the green vegetation ledge by jumping twice. You see what I did? I jumped over that little wooden thing there so as not to hit it and fall off. So jump twice. It's pretty difficult, so you might have to save a couple of times. Anyways, on the right side over here is this red barn. We will be back later on, like I said, so we'll go to the left side for right now. And we'll jump this gap, and we'll jump this gap, and we come up to this area. Oh my goodness, look at what we have to cross. All of this beach, this sand, all the way across to this ledge. You see that ledge with the supply crates and the dead tree behind them? That is the ledge where the achievement gets unlocked. So that is our eventual goal to get there. So our goal for this ledge that we're on is to turn to the left and somehow jump to this ledge with the red barn but we see the gap is too large to cross. So what do? Well... We must use this plank of wood. So we'll get behind it just like this, and then suck it up with the gravity gun. 
it's very clumsy, I know, and then place it to create a bridge to cross. Now again, we will grab these supplies inside the red barn later on, and this lambda location on top of the red barn. How do we get those items? Well, we shall see later on. To the right of the red barn, we see a second red garage area, but we need to build our way up to the ledge, so let's grab that plank of wood once again. And we'll use it as a means of getting up there. Our next goal is to walk down this way and then build our way up to the white rocks over there. Once again with the plank of wood. I know, it's very hard to see. This plank of wood is absolutely clumsy with the gravity gun. You have to play along with it. We will carefully cross. I have fallen down. You see? That's what I'm talking about. I have fallen down before. But we made it to the White Rocks. We also made it to the White House. Let's go behind the White House and turn on the generator right now. This will turn on the thumper way over there. While it might not mean much to us right now because we are not touching the sand, it will later on, and you'll see when that will happen. Our next goal is to turn to the right, and we have to build our way over to these rocks over there. So, let's do it once again with the plank of wood. Okay, now we don't need the plank to cross this, but I'm going to anyway because I do want to keep this plank of wood with me. Our next goal is to build our way to either of these two rocks. It doesn't matter which one, but we must use the plank of wood. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> no, it the this part right here actually needs to be in the sand so I can jump to it. Yeah, there we go, just like that. Okay, we are almost there across the beach. And look, we're almost there to that dead tree. We almost have the achievement. Our next goal, our final goal, is to cross this beach to this rock right in front of us. And to do that, we're going to use these metal doors. There we go. I don't want these objects to get in the way, so I'm tossing them aside. We'll also use this metal door right here. And it turns sideways, but that's okay. I didn't want it to turn sideways. I wanted it to be elongated like this. I really do not like using these, but it's the best way. Almost there. I'm sorry if I'm not saying... Oh, my gosh. Oh, and that turned sideways, too. But you know what? We've come this far. I'm, I don't want to mess up. 
I know it might look easy in this video, but if you guys played this before, you know that sometimes when you jump, Gordon doesn't jump. He glides. And I don't want to glide into the sand. Okay, we're there at the rock, so we'll turn to the left and we'll grab this crate. And we'll place it right near the rock. And we'll jump crouch onto it. And then we'll jump crouch onto... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We'll jump crouch onto this rock. Oh my goodness. We made it across the sand in one piece. But the achievement is not unlocked yet, so we'll have to jump to here. And by the way, yes, you can build your way over to this area, but it requires you to build a lot more, you know, a lot more of this, so I don't do that. And we made it to the dead tree, and right here at this point, you will unlock the achievement called Keep Off the Sand. Well done, you unlocked the hardest achievement in Half-Life 2. So, the first thing that we want to do before jumping down is place the supply crates down below. Do not break them. There's a battle that will go on down below there, and I want to have these supply crates intact in case I get low on health or low on armor. So that's why I don't want to break them. Okay, our next goal is actually to recross this sand and gather up all the supplies that we missed. However, as you know, if we touch the sand, ant lions will appear. I have actually found a solution to this through the years of playing this game. The first goal that you want to do, however, is make sure that the thumper is already turned on from before. That's a very big necessity. The second thing that you want to do is actually go right along this edge. But do not fall down, there is no way back up. And you want to walk along the entire edge. Just like this. The third thing that you want to do is locate this rock and then jump to it and the last thing to do is to face the thumper and then jump to it and look at this no ant lions are being summoned I actually discovered this on the Xbox 360 version of the orange box and I was hoping I was really hoping it would be the same for the PC version, and it is. So you can do this as well. The first thing that we're going to do now for the supplies gathering is we're going to go to the left side. Well, basically, if we face the area with the dead tree over there, it's actually to the right side. Well, actually not, actually. But you know what? We're going to gather these supplies anyway. So that I won't forget about them later on. What we actually want to do is go back and face that dead tree and go to the left side. I was right the first time. I just confused myself. Okay, so we'll hug the cliff wall as we make our way along the sand and we'll stop at this thumper. Okay, so I won't be saying much because this is just supply crate gathering. We'll come to this white house and we'll just gather the supplies inside. Hmm. There was usually two pulse rifle ammo there, but it didn't appear that time. Oh well. We'll go up to the second red garage or house or whatever it is. Now this supply crate 
is very nice to have three armor batteries inside. So grab your fill. And so now we'll go to the first red barn area, also with the Lambda location as well. And there's an infinite ammo crate full of pulse rifle ammo, so grab your fill. But how in the world are we supposed to get to the Lambda location up on the top of the red garage? Well, the solution is to find this boat on the left side and then jump onto this rock by jump crouching and then you want to sprint jump to this area and then we'll jump to this ledge and climb our way up to the lambda location see we made it to the Lambda location. Well done. But inside, it's just two generic um, supply crates. There's nothing really fancy about this Lambda location, which kind of sucks for all the effort you put into it. But anyways, now you can make this jump if you sprint jump you might want to save your game before attempting that. So now what we're going to do is go to the right side near the seesaw area and actually go beyond the seesaw so as to grab the items that I skipped from way earlier. Now yes, they are, there will be one live ant lion that you will have to kill. And he is chewing on a corpse. So yeah, just some generic supply crates down here. So now we'll go back the way we came. And we'll continue to the right side backtracking so as to grab one more cache of supplies. I know, this is a long process, and if you guys want to skip to where I fall down to the ledge later on, go ahead and do that. Huh. And I'm also missing that um, pulse rifle ammo there as well, but oh well. So now we will go back the way we came once again. And we're going to go underneath the seesaw. And we're going to go to the right side. And then turn to the right again, and you can actually get back up to the familiar ledge up here. And now we will go investigate this red garage, red house area. And inside is nice to have. There are three magnum shells stacked on top of each other. Or it could be one magnum shell that is... that gives you eight. I'm not sure, but it, it gives me a lot of ammo. Okay, and we will drop down from this red garage area. And we come to a beached rowboat with a bunch of supplies. Look at all the magnum bullets. And pulse rifle rounds. And health packs. So grab what you need. And then we'll go beyond this to this stash of supplies, which is also very nice to have. 
large amounts of shotgun ammo, some armor batteries, and more shotgun ammo, so you'll never run out of shotgun rounds. And now we come to this beached boat. More shotgun ammo, my goodness! Okay, and we'll go around this rock on the left side, and we'll climb up the rock now. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun to do sometimes with the explosive barrels. Okay, and then over here was that stash of supplies that I already grabbed because I messed up. I went the wrong way from what I had intended. Okay, and that's all the supplies, so let's just get this over with and let's go back up. Now, what could be down below that is so deadly? I'm actually going to save my game because I don't want to die in this section, so I will be right back. Okay, my game is saved, so we will carefully jump down where we see a lot of death has been going on. And that's because of this hole right here. Out of this hole will pop an antlion guard, a mini-boss of Half-Life 2. So let's do it! Okay. Hide along the right side cliffs. See, just like that. You want to get him to ram this barrel. This citizen will be helping you. See? to hear their extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic pteropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore, stand aside. The free man will have need of these pteropods on the path to head. Gather them now. So I will follow him later on, but right now I do want to gather up the supplies that I missed, including this one in the viaduct up there. It's very nice to have SMG grenade. So yeah, basically the idea with the antlion guard, he's not that tough. As you saw, I took no damage whatsoever on my first try. So basically what you want to remember is use the explosive barrels on him and then use the cliff wall as a means of getting him to ram it by dodging quickly. If you can dodge quickly enough, he will become disoriented when he hits the cliff wall and that allows you to get your bearings, it allows you to throw an explosive barrel at him, it allows you to run. So do that and you should be okay. Hey, guys. How's it going? The ant lines won't bother you now, Doc. Hmm. Interesting. The free man must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose vocal inputs are in bad. Yes, we will vocalize in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do 
Now, don't miss this supply crate over here in the corner, behind the barrels. Oh, hello guys. Please get better soon. We need you to fight for us. Okay, let's go. Get going, Dr. Freeman. Nova Prospect is just ahead. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. But a man with a pack of antlions, well, that's a different story. A man with a pack of antlions? Well, that sounds kind of cool. I wonder what that could mean. The Freeman honors us by his presence. Follow Freeman. Oh no, I see an antlion nest. The Freeman will now be instructed in the use of theropods. Attend now and learn to shepherd antlions with the so-called bug bait. The Freeman will now break out this theropod and toss one into yonder pit. So press the primary fire button to throw one. The free man can also coax his appliance to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another pheromone. The free man again excels in all tasks. And that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Those antlions are attacking that dead Combine soldier. So yeah, basically the primary fire button throws the pheropods, which are antlion pheromones, and makes them go crazy. See, they will run to that target. The secondary fire will coax them back to you. See, here they come. The antlions are now the new sweetnesses. All right. Come on, my fellow antlions. Now, attend well. Apply pressure to your theropod to signal the antlions in your command to follow you. The free man shows his excellence in all things. And now, this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. Okay, guys. Let's proceed with our ant lion crew. And we're going to enter the next section and into the outskirts of Nova Prospect in the next section. <laughs> hey, our tribe is starting to grow. So on the beach and on the cliff sides of Nova Prospect, we're going to come across our very first obstacle, and that's this, a thumper. Now, as we know, the antlions do not like thumpers, so we're going to have to climb up and turn it off. Priority warning. Outland stabilization for six Nova Prospect. Perimeter restrictors disengaged. Priority warning. Perimeter restrictors disengaged. <laughs> and the Overwatch voice is saying that the perimeter is being breached, and that's true. 
by Gordon Freeman and his antlions. So the same thing goes for this second thumper as well. Here we go, everybody. The start of the beach and the cliff sides of Nova Prospect. So we're going to come across fortifications like this one along the way. They are filled with Combine soldiers and Combine soldiers manning sentry guns. So let's throw our ferropods over there. Alright, well done, Ant Lions. You did very well for this first fortification. And yeah, the first fortification is, of course, the easiest one. And if we look on the back side of these guys, we see Nova Prospect. So yes, we are in the right place. We are raiding the right prison. <laughs> And yeah, here's the sentry gun. But uh, yeah, there's no reason to use that right now. Okay, the first fortification is down, so let's move on to a third thumper, as well as our second fortification. Now notice the light coming from the fortification. That means the sentry gun is manned. rush to the thumper and turn it off. However, we are not done yet with the fortification. There's still going to be two Combine soldiers in a structure behind the fortification. And also, do be alert that once the Overwatch voice that you will hear stops, this beach is going to be stormed. So right about right now, Wow, you guys, nice job. That was a fast cleanup. Okay, so the first thing to do is to turn off the alarm inside. I don't want to attract attention to myself. So, the second fortification has been taken, and if we go along the beach some more, we're going to see a third fortification. However, it is built on the cliff wall itself, and if you notice, the cliff wall cannot be climbed. What we're supposed to do, or at least what I do, is I go along the beach itself, like where the water meets the sand. 
I go around the rock this way. And then I just swim along the beach. Now, not just the fortifications, but there's going to be combine soldiers on the outside as well. Mostly behind rocks. So just run from rock to rock, making sure all the Combine soldiers behind the rocks are dead. So this is the last rock we need to hide behind, and make sure that the Combine soldiers are dead. We'll go to the right side of this rock. We will run out. Well, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, so now we will sprint to the left side, jump over this, and then run for the green vegetation and the normal crates. But we're not done yet. The fortification still has yet to be cleaned out. Well done, Ant Lions. And yeah, just look at all these sentry guns here. <laughs> okay, so anyways, outside the fortification, we notice this little hole right here. Well, let's keep that in mind. What we're going to do is see if we can progress further down the beach. But it looks like we cannot, because the cliff wall is blocking us. And the fortifications are built on top of the cliff walls. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to go back to that hole. Turn to the right and enter inside the catacombs. Now, initially, there's going to be one wave of combined soldiers that will come for you. And then, yep, there's going to be a wave of just two man hacks. And then, yeah, one more wave of combined soldiers will also come for you.
And then if we step forward just a little bit, one more wave of Combine soldiers will come. Okay, so I like to blow up the explosive barrels over here. Okay, there we go. And there's some supply crates. Now, if you hug the left wall going forward, you will eventually see this vent opening. So let's go inside. And it's very nice to have for a crossbow. And that's it. That's all the supplies that are inside the catacombs. So we will exit out of the catacombs on the other side. So the Overwatch, she is now sending more troops from Nova Prospect to stop us. Well, you know what? Let's go stop them. We'll take this fortification, and we're, we're also going to snipe off this guy. He is a pain in the ass. Good job, Antlion. He took care of the Combine Soldier for me. Okay, so this fortification has been taken. However, it is this fortification that matters the most to us, and it will be most useful to us. Ear protection must be worn in this area. There it is. There is the dropship that will be releasing about a dozen soldiers out of it. What we're going to do is get the ant lions to go down there. The second thing we're going to do is rush out and then rush back inside and take control of the sentry gun. This just literally makes it too easy. I used to want to be able to just rush this area, but I got killed so many times back in the day until I discovered that you can use the sentry gun on the Combine Soldiers. And there goes the dropship. Pissed off, but you know what? Here's my middle finger. Yeah. 
Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is see if there's any supplies inside of the fortification. But there's not. So we will continue on to where the dropship was. So our eventual goal is to somehow make it way up to the very top up there. And to do that, we must continue on to the right side over here. So we must carefully jump to this ledge. And we enter into this area. <laughs> okay, so both zombies are dead, and there's a health pack in the rowboat if you need it. Now, if we try to continue around to the other side over here, we see that there's a dead end, and there's a drop-off on this side as well. What we have to do is use the gravity gun to suck down the posts. so that we may use this as a bridge to get up here. Now, more ant lions will come eventually. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm glad I didn't step out there. That grenade would have just killed me. <laughs> that was a nervous laugh, by the way. There's still one Combine soldier alive. Okay, whatever. We'll get him later on. So, what we want to do is climb up this ladder. And then, now this is kind of tricky because of the ant lions, they can get in your way. What you want to do is jump to this ledge without falling down. And then we will carefully jump this gap. And we got more combined soldiers. Gosh, what in the world? Oh! I never knew that head crab was there! Oh my gosh, and there's supplies back here! The official strategy guide missed this location. Well, I guess I found something new that I never discovered before. Or I might have, I just don't remember. But anyways, more combined soldiers up there, make sure they die. Um, no, this is not the way we want to go. Uh, we want to go to the other side, actually, of this rock, and then carefully jump up the series of ledges, again, without falling down, and make sure we have our shotgun equipped, because there's something inside the sewer pipe. The fast zombie, make sure he dies. And let's go to the next section. Now from here, you'd be wise to snipe off the Combine soldiers. So 
so as not to deal with them later on or have your antlions deal with them later on. So we'll just go from sewer pipe to sewer pipe until we eventually come to this area with a supply crate. So we'll grab the supplies if we need them, and we'll go up this ladder, and we see a watchtower full of Combine soldiers. And also on the right side as well. Okay, and all three of the watchtowers are taken care of in Nova Prospect. Thanks mainly to these antlions as well. <laughs> Thank you, antlions. Now, underneath the center watchtower are some supplies. So grab what you need. And yes, we have finally entered into Nova Prospect, the outside of the prison. Now, like with all prisons, there are government buildings and sub-buildings and we have to clear these buildings out, systematically. Okay, and they're both dead. Now, as soon as you run up these stairs, all hell will break loose with a combined gunship coming to stop you and we don't have access to rockets quite yet. So we must be quick. Okay, they're dead. Let's run down here and clear out this building on the left. Okay, we'll run to the other side and be mindful of this. Two Combine soldiers are inside of there, so be wary that they might show up. Okay, let's go inside this building and grab the supplies. Okay, so from here, I'd like to try and snipe off the two Combine soldiers inside of that room. And yeah, watch out for the gunship there. Man, this is a slow process. Okay, there's one of them dead. my chance. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. There we go. He's dead. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm not going to wait around 10 minutes for that to happen. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is rush outside Turn to the left, blow up the barrel, and get inside here for cover. Okay, 
No, I want to switch weapons, please. And yeah, we see Nova Prospect. We are almost there. Okay, enough dawdling around. We are going to rush up to the final section. Grab the rockets. And now's the time to be very aggressive. Because when the gunship takes some damage, a second gunship will arrive. There he is, I'm getting shot to rivets. <laughs> Two gunships. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh my gosh! This is it, peoples. The final push. Oh my gosh! I'm beaten, I'm bruised, I'm tired. I just want to go home and sleep. But damn, was that exhilarating or what? But as you guys saw, once the first gunship goes down, the second one is really not that bad. I didn't take a lot of damage from when there was only one of them left. It's those two gunships together. That is what makes it so difficult. I don't have a strategy. I... <laughs> Basically, I just use the center area with the center boxcar as cover, and that's all I can tell you. Luckily, there's some machines here. Alright, 42 is not that bad, actually. I just didn't have access to the suit when I was up there. That's, that's the problem. It was away from me. What in the world was that? I fired my gravity gun, but the rocket disappeared. I wonder if there's anything up in these things. I've never really checked before. 
Or at least not checked in a long while, I should say. Nope, there's nothing up there, so... Oh my gosh, guys, that was exhilarating. I really enjoyed that, despite it being just horrendously... nerve-wracking. Okay, so the last place to investigate is to the right of that hole, right here. And now, as we noticed, there is a hole inside of the prison itself. So let's go inside. Priority alert. Novo prospect exigency. Perimeter communication status zero. Internal stabilization team. Deploy sterilizers in suspected infection block A5, A7, B2. Oh my gosh, more Nova Prospect troops are being alerted to those cell blocks. We'll use the valve wheel to turn off the fire right there. And we'll also do the same for this fire over here with this valve wheel. And look! we enter inside of the murky, dank prison. Disgusting. Okay, you guys, I will see you guys in Nova Prospect. We are finally going to see what the Combine are up to with their prison system. You can tell a lot about a country about how they treat their prisoners. So we're going to see exactly what is going on with the Combine and how they treat their prisoners. So until next time, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I'll see you guys in Nova Prospect Chapter 9 to rescue Eli Vance. Take care, everybody. <laughs>